students welcome back to arc tutorials this is react js full tutorial series for absolute beginners in today's episode we will learn how to send data from child to parent that's right in the earlier episodes i have told you that you the sending data is unidirectional which means you can send data the props from parent to child but what if we want to ch send the data back from child to parent that's what we are going to learn today there is a way around how to do that and this is something that you will require if you are working on a real time project let's get started if you haven't checked out the first 19 episodes please make sure that you do i have covered everything here in the playlist index that should help you reference today we are learning how to do a callback from child to parent callbacks from child to parent components are a common pattern in react this can be for setting data or triggering an action in the parents component here are some of the key points that you should remember <coughs> passing callback functions you can pass a callback function as a prop from the parent component to the child component child invokes parent callback and then you can also do the data transfer like you can pass the data from the child to parent okay so these are some of the commonly uh, used methods or ways patterns to send data from child to compo parent component let's go ahead i will make it clear to you in the hands on we are building a credit card portal where we can see all the credit cards and if you haven't checked out the first few episodes make sure that you go through it in order to get here so this is what we have in the last episode we built this uh, comp component which is just a basic one let me show you the code all right so inside the main component we created a child component by the name bank remember i hope you do so we are using those two here and that was the child component we used and we learned how to pass the props etc for now i'll go ahead and comment this lines off so that it's much simple for you and i will what i'll do is i'll take them off for now <coughs> i'll keep it clean and simple and i will use them again once we uh, start building a little, little more uh, functionality for now the idea is i'll go ahead create a new file by the name loan.js okay i'm creating a new parent by the name loan.js what this will do is it will get you the loan right and then each loan will have its own loan application okay that's the functionality we are implementing so let's implement the parent function parent component quickly and remember the first should be uppercase and the name is loan and then what we'll do we'll quickly define the return first we'll keep it simple in this way we'll have a root dev you cannot have multiple right so that's why and we can say message from child <coughs> here we'll show the message that will come back from the child for the child i'm going to create a new component and i'll call it loan app okay now let's go ahead and create the child component and i'm calling it loan app and let's quickly return this as well and inside this what we will have is a button okay we'll have a simple button and say submit application so hierarchy is simple i have one parent component i have one child component in the parent i'll be passing a method through a child okay a prop so i'm going to call it on child click or you can say on loan submit equal to right on loan submit what should happen you should say handle loan submit okay that is loan application submit okay so let's go ahead and implement this method here and say this is something that we will get back from the, the child right so we are expecting data from the child and that's it so i'm creating a function which i'm saying i'll expect the data back when i call this and for now if you want to keep it simple just do a data log <coughs> that's the simplest thing you can do so here is a prop that i'm passing with a function and i'm saying handle loan submit in the child when i'm calling it here let's do on click and call a method and say 
submit loan submit loan and let's define that also submit loan and this will just be a pure function and we are also saying we are passing props to child so let's add that here and here in the child what we will do is simply pass the same prop that we used from the parent so here you see on loan submit so we are going to say props dot on on loan submit let's pass some data and say data from form submission okay so take a look here again I have a simple parent component it all it's doing is it's a div it has a child component by the name loan app which which is a loan application form and I'm saying on loan submit it should call the method handle loan app submit which is just doing a console log for now in the child since this is a prop that I'm passing I'm saying props dot on loan submit call this and here I'm just clicking on that event okay that's the simplest way so here important thing that you should know is that the child which is loan application component is sending back the data this is the data okay and how do we use it so let's go ahead and go to our app.js and under main content or let's say before main content I'm adding that and calling the component let's import that all right so I have added the loan component here and internally the loan component if you see has a child component and it's passing the data perfect so far let's go and it says error it says export default yeah we did not export it so at the end we need to write the <coughs> export default loan so now we have exported the component now it says expected a string but got undefined okay alright so let's check the code once again and see that we haven't mis made any spelling mistake or anything <coughs> so we have the loan application we have the handle loan which is correct and we are closing that this is good so far we have a simple div so this is good here we are doing a expecting data so which is correct and we are just doing a console log this is good so far let's review the child component we have the function loan app it has some props this is good and then the next thing we are doing is just handle submit loan okay submit loan is here and then it's a method that we are saying we are passing and we are saying props on loan submit <coughs> this is good we are passing the data and return on click we are calling submit this is so far so good I don't know why okay let's check why that error is happening okay so the, the error is gone now <coughs> so maybe some compilation thing all right so we have the message from child and submit application now if you look at the submit application that button is coming from the child component now when I click on it it will send this data and that data will be console logged in the parent component let's test it out I'm opening the console <coughs> click on submit and you see data from form submission right so which is coming essentially now here in this case you can have a let's say user application equal to user ID to one username our tutorials so let's say you have an object and that data you're passing from the child to the parent okay and here you can see I'm console logging right so is not defined okay that's because it should be <coughs> all right so now when I click on it I see the data that's coming I clear it I click again and you see the data is coming from the child to the parent component and that's the most important thing that you're learning today all right so this is the way you can send data from your child component to parent all right now you can I showed you an example where we sent a string message like this 
data from submission right this is also fine or in more complex real time way you will always send some json object back to parent this is how you would do that i hope it's clear i have tried to make it simple if you still have any queries or doubts let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you in the next episode we will go over the life cycle methods however from 16.8 onwards you we don't really write the classes right we write functional components but it's important that you should be aware of what the life cycle methods are after that we will learn about use state i hope you are having fun please show me some love please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you